we are we have daniel who is the co-founder and ceo of nirvana technologies and he's going to share with us how they use anytime to unite a user friendly notion kanban board experience for the team now at the same time how the metrics are generated and represented automatically for the upper management in a bi tool before uh, handing it over to daniel a small reminder i am collecting your questions and will be asking them after this talk so if you have any questions don't forget to put them in the chat daniel giving you the permission take it away thank you harshil uh i'm trusting everyone is hearing me well uh it's really a pleasure to be here thank you very much for the n8 team um i'm going to share my screen just a second yeah so i have five really quick slides just to give context and we'll go right into the workflows um so my name is daniel bero uh, i'm the ceo and co-founder of novara tech we're a small startup in, based in brazil developing financial solutions for the electricity market and basically my life goes around three main things that uh, are my main objectives which is novara my company uh, i'm also a digital nomad I'm currently living in Costa Rica until Sunday when I'm moving to Colombia. Um and I also work a lot on fitness. Also, uh I am a person that has two um uh strange attributes to be together. I am a very ambitious person and I'm also a very lazy person. And the outcome of those two things, the only way they can work together is if you have really good time management, optimization. Um so that's why I built my system for time management. Also I am not a developer. Uh I'm kind of excel savvy from working in in finance. Um but I am not a a full-time developer. So basically I built my time management uh optimization system around four tools which are Notion, Google Sheets, Google Calendar and an AN and I'm going to show a bit of the workflows that I use to do that. But first uh what is a task for me? So in Notion you can set a lot of different um properties inside of uh an item. Uh this is what a task is for me. So as you can see there are a lot of things you can have the day of the week. Oh my my workflows are in Portuguese so I'm sorry about that. Um but I think it will be clear for everyone. So I have the day of the week, I have the day and time that it's actually scheduled, if it's professional or personal, uh I have a tag so it could be deep work, it could be a personal task it could be all types of things personal or or professional um if it's recurring and how long does it take in hours because i really like to metrify everything that i do and i'm going to show how i do that in a second uh okay so where do tasks come from and where does nnn come into this to to this process so i have three main main sources of tasks one of them are recurring tasks which are things that i do every week uh which is like gym meditation aerobics journaling my daily sprint with the team um answering email all types of things that we do regularly that I do every week so I'm going to have tasks for that every week the second source is google calendar meetings it can be either myself scheduling with someone else or someone else scheduling with me um that could be clients service providers or all types of things and non recurring tasks which are tasks that basically I'm talking here to you in a meeting you I have a follow up with you I'll just write them down and allocate them to a specific time um like maybe later or maybe on the spot so that could be book my ticket to Colombia that could be review my marketing's new article or or all sorts of things so let's get into it uh my notion dashboard is basically uh the allocated between to do monday tuesday well wednesday thursday and until sunday uh i've configured it it so that i only see what is in my current week i can also see change to see other weeks but it's configured so that i only see the task from the current week um and basically i have among those properties a done or discarded so for example i've done my training session today i'll just come here and finalize it i've done journaling i've done my notes i'm currently in the n88 meeting um so basically in a month i'll have around 400 cards 
like these. So creating them from zero with all those properties is a lot of work. And that's where NADN comes in. So I spoke a bit about recurring tasks. So I'm gonna show that first. And for that, I use Google Sheets as my backend. Uh, I use a lot of that since I don't know how to code. And I'm gonna show you the workflow that I use for that. So basically I have a spreadsheet. Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong one. I have a spreadsheet with all the tasks and they have Google Sheets formulas where I just change the date of the beginning of the week. It will update all of the dates so that I can have it correctly for that specific week. Once I have done that process, which really doesn't change a lot from week to week, I might add one thing or reduce one thing. I will use a very, very simple workflow just to read the information on Google Sheets and insert it into my Notion database. Since I have the, the time as well, and I sort it by time, it already comes in the order that I'm gonna do them. Uh, so that helps me a lot. And the second part is uh, the Google Calendar meetings that show up. So for that, I have a different workflow, which is a bit more complex, maybe more complex than it needed to be. But basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of doing a polling here. I'm every minute checking and getting all of my events in my calendar, checking if there's anything new from the last time that we ran it. Then I'm going to calculate the beginning and the end, how long it takes and all sorts of things. Uh, most of these date and times are just date conversions. I will check on this function node, which day of the week it is. And then depending on which day it is, I'll use the if statements to place it on the correct, uh, on the correct uh, place. So I'm gonna do a quick example here. I'm gonna do a quick example just to show you like test one. And while we iterate, uh, I, I hit the one minute cron, uh, I'm gonna show you something else. So at the end of the day, what I do is I have a workflow that every minute or so is gonna take some of my databases from Notion and is gonna place it into a Google Sheets uh, that is, this dashboard here. Did I just a second? I need to change this. Uh, I, so basically, it is just going to throw every every data from those databases here. So this is my database that I was showing, like which is my time management system, like my Kanban board. Um, it's going to throw it here. I'm going to do a few calculations in my back end, um, and it's going to show up here. So basically I can, without any work, like the only work I have is finalizing the task when it's done or discarding it in case I know I'm not gonna do it at all. So like maybe I had to like drink enough water for today and I didn't do it. So I have to, it's not something that I can reallocate. So I'm just gonna discard it. And it's gonna calculate for me for each tag that I have, how much was my target and how much I actually did, how much I did in total. I can change this to be just recurring or just professional or just one tag. And I kind of calculate a few metrics for myself uh, based on that. I do pretty much the same thing for fitness. Um, this for sure could be done with a Postgres database or an SQL database that could be on a BI tool. That's what we do for like company things. Um, but since this was personal, I just preferred to have it in a easier, in an easier solution. Um, so let's go back here. And the test that we have is here. It, it, it was allocated for 4.45 local time in Costa Rica. Uh, it, it has already put it to Friday because it detected that that was on a Friday. Uh, since it's a meeting in my business calendar, it's gonna throw it to professional. Uh, it's gonna have the tag meeting. Um, and since I only booked half an hour, it's going to put here 0 0.5. So that's pretty much an overall of my time management system. I, I, I wanted to make it into a way that it had almost no work, but that at the same time, it would generate automated metrics. So that's pretty much how I follow my schedule and that I can seek to reach my ambitious goals 
without working too hard. Uh, hope you guys liked it. Um, and I'll pass it back to her to her show.